So part two of the kitchen counter build. And you can see Jamie is right in the middle of everything. <laughs> so, you know, I was I thought I was making good progress, right? I was getting my boards cut and I'd actually went through and started filling some of these holes with wood glue. I'm gonna go back and sand it all down, kind of like this here. And uh, I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I just felt like I, I needed to, but it was a waste of time. But I got this board cut and the sink was starting to fit really nice. And then I found out that this board here has got a bow on this edge. That sucks. Because, I mean, I could use it, but when I start putting my boards down here, it's going to leave a really big gap in between a couple of the boards. And I just think I need to replace it. So I got another board that's got some holes in it, some little bug imperfections, but I don't think it's bad. I give it a little bit of character. But like I said, I will go back and fill these with like wood glue uh, and just sand them flat just so if I do spill something it won't seep real far down into these planks or these deck boards but it is what it is so I'm about to take this one off and I'm going to cut this one because it looks pretty straight I don't see any bows on it it might have a little twist to it you know but that'll go away once I uh, screw it down so let me get this board here cut yeah I know I didn't paint it yet because I got to thinking after the video I was like yeah I probably should wait to paint so I did so let me get this cut okay got all my boards figured out I've got them laying to the side now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and pre-drill some pocket holes on that board that board and this board and get ready to anchor you know, those boards <laughs> so, and then I'll come back over here and figure out what I want to do I thought about cutting you know several small pieces to go that away to make it look like the rest but i don't know if i'm going to do that or run one piece long ways in between the front and the backboard um, i guess i'll just have to wait and see just wait and see what i do i guess okay making slow progress i got on my pocket holes put in the two by fours and it looks like i went kind of crazy down here but Okay, so it's been about an hour later, and you can see I've got all the boards on. Even my end pieces are cut and they're anchored in. Like I said, I don't know if that. What the hell was that? Oh, two by four. I, I don't know if that was the uh, the right way to do a Craig jig, but like I said, I'm not trying to be too uh, much of a perfectionist. I'm just trying to get it done, you know. And in my haste, there's a few problems. <laughs> And I'm going to assume all responsibility for the incompetence for this error. But if you look, I don't know if this the 2x4 that's twisted, which is probably not. Or my table's just not square. I don't. Or maybe I got my deck board down here a little bit crooked. I don't think so. But some of them do kind of have a, a bow to them, and I had to kind of fix them. But, you know, I squared this up once, and it's way out here. And it's the edge is closer here, so I just kind of squared it up just a little bit more. I think I'd rather, since I won't really be looking at this side very much, I think it'd be okay. <laughs> as long as this edge seems fairly square, you know, when I'm down here doing the dishes and you look, you're like, wow, ah, that looks fine. But down here, it appears to be okay. It's a little bit closer down here, and it sticks out a little bit further on this end. Like I said, I don't think it's really noticeable, but hey, it's my first time, and I'm not a carpenter. I'm learning as I go. I don't have Mr. Miyagi teach me how to do this stuff, so I'm trying to do the best I can with what I got. So, that's what I got. And I've got my 2 by 4 cheer cut to get ready. Uh, wait a minute. As it goes over here. There we go. That's going to go like that. I'm going to have another 2x4 that goes this way. Then I'm going to need three more pieces to make this secondary shelf. And then my floor. And then that would be it. I think. Until it comes down time for the doors. But doors are not main priority right now. It's extra. So I want to get this laid down. And then get these 2x4s cut. Which I'll probably have to wait till tomorrow. 
and I'll have to go salvage some of the two by fours from the L car because I don't think I have enough. But that'd be okay if I can get the whole floor laid down tonight. I'll be happy. And then once that happens, I can do the paint. I think so. Stay tuned. Somebody please explain to me what I was smoking when I did this. I'm just kind of looking. I'm like, got two there, you know, and then over here it's just like. Phew. <laughs> what the hell happened? I may have to add some more. Or I may not. Who knows? But anyway, that's how I roll. We'll check her out. It actually looks like something now. But my question to you guys is, should I add a like a small backsplash? Like before you've seen the pictures where it was just like this, you know? Should I put something on the back like that what do you think you think it finish it off a little bit you think it add a little bit more you know substance to it or whatnot like i said i can do more pocket holes which i'm really loving these pocket holes even though i'm sucking at it but at least it's working what do you think so anyways I, i'm pretty proud i mean i know it's not perfect it's not it's like 95% square. <laughs> so, I mean, what? Come on now. What, what, it is what it is. I think it looks nice so far. If I didn't build it and know all the little screw-ups I did, you know, from just the random person, they might be like, cool, man. Now, when I get it finished, I think it's really going to look nice. And my other question is, should I have a flat semi-gloss or gloss um like a clear coat what do they call that in woodworking polyurethane or should i do a um oh gosh you know where they pour the the resin countertop that's about that thick and it's just clear should i do that what do y'all think um and i know a lot of y'all were saying do the weathered gray board but I don't know if the weather gray will look that good. I'm sure it will look good. Now this has got blue in it. And it's, well, it's got a little bit of everything. But this is just kind of give you an idea. The weather gray, well, let's go back to the bathroom. I'll show you. That's not a weather gray. That's more like an antique gray that I'm getting ready to show you. But So here we are in the bathroom this is an antique gray this is plain 30 year old red wood stain this is plain wood that's the kona and then that's the blue so the antique gray is going to be something like this but that's already what it is so i'm thinking what i might do is or is this the, i think that's the kona and then that's Either way, it's going to be that or that. So, I think I'm going to have to do an executive decision, not go with the weather gray. I think I'm going to go with the Kona. I think it would just look better. Plus, if I did spill anything on it, like somebody made in the comments, it'd be easier to hide. So, I think I'm going to have to overrule everybody's decision and go with the brown. So I made a little test piece last night so you guys can see. This is um, Minwax Polycrylic. I've had that can for a hot second. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now this is four coats. This is the barrel. Now don't mind this. That's that stupid glue, that wood glue. And I totally shouldn't even put it down. If I put it down, I should have wiped it off as long as the hole is full, but I didn't. So that's what those dumb things are. But anyway, here's the barrel coat or the barrel brown. This is one coat, the Vintage Aqua. The weathered gray and then this is the kona the other the other dark brown i had in the bathroom was i think just basically a dark brown or a chocolate brown or something like that but that's what it looks like with the clear on it so what do y'all think clear mm. semi-gloss i kind of like the clear it's man it feels very durable like heavy duty kind of like it but anyways thought i'd show it to you guys but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wire wheel and try to clean up the bottom edge of this 
that way I can take that board off and stain it on the bottom also that way you know when you're at a distance you can kind of see underneath of it it'd be nice and stained everything else will be painted white now here's another question would you all like me to paint the sh all the shelf wood white and the bottom floor section white or do you want each level to be stained as well like the deck boards so it would be like these are brown, these are brown, the bottom's brown with a white trim, basically. So, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm going to try to go with what you all suggest. But all in all, you know, I have last say. And if I think it's going to look better one way, I'll have to change. But, you know, I just think the brown would make more sense on top. Because I promise, the weather gray... Is this that's barrel brown barrel brown does look like uh, just plain wood but this is the weather gray you know what I mean so I don't know guys we'll see we'll see what happens when the final product arrives so anyways I hope you like this video please like and subscribe any new subscribers hanging out, I appreciate all y'all. And uh, please check out my links below in the description. And I think I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.